Thomas Jefferson Brown Jr. has been cutting hair since 1978. I started cutting hair when I was like 10 years old. By the age of 16, he got his barber's license and started cutting hair professionally around D.C. And it was during those early days that Thomas Jefferson Brown Jr. got his nickname. Curly. Curly? Yes, sir. Curly Brown is now 51 years old, and his barber shop is rather unique. It's mobile. This is a 99, a 99 Chevy Chateau. Brown drives around the DMV in a converted motorhome, cutting hair here and there. God gave me the vision to build this, so this is me giving back to God mm -hmm. to help take care of his people help take care of my brothers and sisters. And part of that vision is why Brown set up shop at a homeless shelter in Capitol Heights last Wednesday. A few days each month, he stops by shelters or areas frequented by homeless people and provides haircuts, shaves, or hairstyling at no charge. And what you getting, a ball head and a shave? His first customer on this day was Larry Brothers. The former tradesman has been at the shelter since the end of last year. I really appreciate it. Former sanitation worker Thaddeus Green has been at the shelter for about three weeks. I think they have a lot to offer if we listen. So Brown listens and talks, all the while getting to know his customers. How life treating you today? Oh man, God is good. What you doing using the military? Infantry? Mm -hmm. You have any trades? Yeah, I'm an electrician. You know, I got a job interview yesterday. I think I did pretty good. And uh, VA, the VA's coming today. Pick me up. That's why I'm trying to get on out here probably by 12. Brown, who also offers his service to homeless women, is looking to expand his operation to other shelters in Prince George's County. His shop includes four chairs, nine big screen TVs, an array of colorful clippers, and a sink. Hot water, cold water, shampoo, everything is in here. Dye hair. Everything, sir. Everything that you can get in some beauty salon, you can get right here, sir. Let us not forget the air compressor. If his aim is to make them feel better about themselves, then Brown has succeeded and then some. I feel that a haircut makes you feel better. And the glow that I get from their face and the conversation that I get from them, it helps me to be better. Thanks, sir. I appreciate Ooh, you, brother. I appreciate you. It's his way of offering those going through tough times a glimmer of hope for a better day. I'll be back here so you can look great for Valentine's Day. In Capitol Heights, Byron Scott, CTV News.